Hey guys, what's up? So we're back with another Astro Wine video. If it's your first time here, I'm Mark and I do a bit of wine videos amongst other things. So yes, in this Astro Wine series, I try to match wine with your zodiac sign, mainly because of the influence of my girlfriend. Okay, so let's get it started. Happy Cancer season! Does happy and cancer go together? <laughs> I'm just kidding, to those watching who are Cancers, please I hope I haven't offended you just yet. Anyway, before anything, Cancer is a water sign. Their emotions tend to be a little shifty, a little swayable, a little emotional. If you notice, the symbol of the Cancer is a crab. For a Cancer, its home is actually very central to its life. Not just physical home, but also home in terms of family, in terms of friendship, in terms of the priorities and the people and the relationships that the Cancer chooses to make a central and focal point in its life. So in many ways, Cancerians are very traditional. They actually like a lot of good food. They like home cooking. They like self-care. Things that have to do with the home. And because of their core, they will actually do everything to protect what's important to them. So with that, <laughs> Let me take you to the wine. In selecting a wine that fits the cancer today, I was really thinking about that. I thought about home, I thought about good food. And so here I present to you a Merlot. I think Merlots represent cancers well. It could actually pair well with a lot of different food. Since it's in the medium bodied spectrum, it can go with the many food groups and the many food indulgences that a Cancer would choose to indulge himself with. To be honest, I actually wanted to bring here a French Merlot, but at my budget price point, I couldn't find a good French Merlot. But don't fret, I think that this fits the traditional context of Cancerians because it says that it is the soul of the Andes. Cancers have a lot of soul in them, a lot of emotion, so I thought, I was like, wow, that's a pretty perfect pairing. And also, joking aside, this bottle comes from the Maipo Valley. So the Maipo Valley is in the foothills of the Andes. This is a region where grapes and wine has been made since the 16th century, so it's one of the more original wine regions in Argentina. So definitely it does fit the bill of being very traditional maybe not in the context of old world but spanish friars have been growing grapes there as far back as the 16th century anyway let's quickly give this wine a try it has hints of black currant cherries even if its colors are quite bold and looking like a firm red on the nose, it's actually not as aggressive, gentle like a Cancer, a little sensitive, and like a Cancer, it can sway the other direction because it's just showing its emotion, but, but it does go back to some neutrality and that core of being just a medium body behind. Now I can smell a bit of tropical fruit, a little bit like guava, a little citrus for a red wine, and it's interesting. Oh wow, wow. That's a really pleasant wine. As I mentioned earlier, yes, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of tropical fruits, like a little passion fruit, but not all that much. But this acidity gives a nice balance. It's really nice. I mean, it does bring a little boldness to it. There's a chance you might initially mistake it for a full-bodied red, but it ends in a very gentle way, and I, I really like it. So this soul of the Andes, Alma de los Andes, comes in quite strong, but it's actually gentle. And I think that makes it hold true to how Cancerians are. What do you think? Do you guys agree? This Reserva Merlot. So Reserva actually means that it's been aged in oak for six months. So I got this from Santi's Delicatessen for, I think it was around 440 pesos. And this is something I'd really recommend. If you would ask me my rating on this, I would give this like a good 8.4. Um, I really enjoyed this. Do you agree with me that if Cancerians were wine, they would be Merlots? So thanks again for watching guys. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. And as always, cheers! Happy drinking!